Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going over the pros and cons of Sacramento, California. That's right, it's a great place to live, but there's some things that you need to know before coming out. Welcome back to the channel everybody. As always, please do me a favor, if you're getting anything out of these videos, hit that like button, ding that notification bell, and subscribe, help the channel out grow, and let everybody know why it's so great to live in the Sacramento and Sacramento metro area. So getting into these pros and cons. First of all, Sacramento, it's a river town. It's a huge pro. If you like anything to do with water sports, get out here because we've got it all. One, we've got the Sac River and we got the American River. They meet right in the Sacramento area, actually right where Discovery Park is, where um, they're really promoting the area right now, doing a ton of different concerts out there. There's a huge beach out in Discovery Park where you can, uh, if you don't have a boat, uh, if you don't have any kind of a yacht, hang out there, jump into the river, enjoy the day and cool off, especially during the summer times when it gets a little hot around here. Also, enjoying that river there is actually some food on there you can stop in the downtown area or i should say the old town uh, sacramento area get off there's a lot of mom and pop shops over there and also um, they've got crawdads right there as well as one of my favorite places called o'malley's it's a bar but this place actually has some of the best tacos that you could ever find their hash tacos and uh, get a couple of those every time we go out there. Next thing on the list that it's gonna be a pro, I gotta say it's probably gonna be the affordability, right? Uh, we're not the cheapest in California by any means, especially when it comes to housing prices, but for the most part, you've got housing, you know, if you're in the Bay Area, if you're in LA, I, you're paying a million plus for a place out there, unless you go to a town home or something really small. Out here, you can get yourself a decent spread, decent backyard where the kids can play, um, and, and it's affordable, you're not stressed out about the actual um, payment that you're making every single month. And that, you know, with that, of course, moving out here and, and the affordability, also we've got good jobs. So that would be another pro of mine, right? We've got tech jobs, we've got industrial jobs, we've of course got government jobs since we've got the capital right here. Uh, it, it's just one of those places with the opportunity that's happening out here you want to gonna want to get out here sooner than later another reason we've gone over i don't care where you're at really in in the sacramento sacramento metro area it's got to be the schools schools we've got charter schools we've got public schools and we've got private schools all of these schools out here are rated uh really actually some of the highest in california there are of course just like anywhere some pockets where you're gonna get um you know, not the greatest school ratings out there, but I would say 90% of the schools out there are great. And if you talk to the teachers out there, they really do care about the students and seeing that these kids get higher education. Another thing I'm gonna jump into has gotta be the farm to fork movement. I love it. This thing has created so many different farmers markets, whether you're in uh, Sacramento area and hitting up their farmers markets or you're up north in Folsom um, or Roseville they have farmers markets now everywhere the vegetables the the food everything that they offer is so fresh because we are surrounded by the farmers they're bringing it right in for you to try we actually have um, a whole big farm to fork event where they actually close down the bridge do a whole spread out there with some of the best chefs we now have a few Michelin chefs in the area and our food, because of our diversity, it's great. Whatever your heart desires, we've got it here. Uh, whether it's Vietnamese food, uh, course American food, jumping into Italian and uh, of course Mexican as well, we've got it all. And probably one of my favorites, of course, is the Indian food out there. So food is another thing that I don't think a lot of people know about when they come to the Sacramento area, but it's definitely one of those things that me and my wife enjoy probably the most. And one of our driving factors of why we're in the downtown area so much is because the food they offer is just so great. Now, one of the cons um, that is going to be out here, and I really still don't ever think that this is that bad of a con, it's probably going to be the freeways. 
uh, you're right in between, depending on where you're at, and, and I'm talking all Sacramento, Sacramento Metro, uh, 50 and the i5, they do have their times just like anywhere where they're backed up, but for the most part, you can fly right through those. Other than that, our cross towns are really what suffer around here. If you're in Sacramento, you got the 50. If you're up north, you got the 65. Those things are jam packed the whole time. If you get out, say, to your uh, Folsom or Orangeville, areas like that, problem with those is there really is no cross town. So you're on these side streets, uh, Watt, you're on uh, Sunset, and there's lights every couple blocks, of course, and so it can take some time. The main two freeways, though, you're gonna fly through those pretty much any time of the day, unless it's, of course, that uh, morning traffic or five o'clock traffic of people trying to go home. Ever since COVID, though, it really honestly hasn't been that bad, but that's probably one of the complaints that I hear about the most. Another thing is shopping. Sacramento itself uh, it doesn't really have the best shopping out there. We've got Arden Mall. Uh, unfortunately, Arden Mall needs a revamp. They have been kind of suffering and holding on, it seems like, for a couple years. There's some boutiques out there that are really nice. And I think really though, for the most part, most people are going into uh, the Galleria Mall, the fountains, and or they're actually splitting off. And a lot of people still, because it's so close, they, they'll go to, uh, to San Francisco and, and go back to some of their shopping there. Which kind of takes me into my next pro. One of the things I love about living in this area is the fact that left, right, up, down on the map I go, I'm somewhere between an hour to two hours from anything. So whether I wanna to go to Tahoe and go skiing, uh, I'm about an hour, hour and 30 max. Uh, if I need to get to the Bay Area, I'm about hour and, uh, about two hours from the Bay Area. If I wanna hit up wine, I, I've got Lodi not too far, I got the Sierras not too far, but if I really want good wine, I got Napa right there, right? It's gonna take me an hour and a half. My wife would say it'd probably take her close to about an hour and 20 uh, with her driving. So you can really just jump into these areas so fast and get so uh, so many different sceneries, right? I can be into SF City within a couple hours and then all of a sudden I'm in Tahoe with trees everywhere in an hour. So it's pretty cool how fast you can kind of switch your scenery uh, compared to a lot of places where if you're in the Bay, um, yeah, you can get different ocean views, but for the most part, you've got to do some pretty good driving to get to a good forest, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I guess their closest one would probably be uh, Santa Cruz, which I feel is always just a little bit dusty uh, and dry out there. Another thing, and we've talked about this, uh, would be a con, I guess, is going to be the allergies. I don't suffer from them at all. Uh, my wife, unfortunately, does, and we've talked about this before. We've had a dog that has. That is another complaint that people do have when they come out here. But if you like the outdoors, I mean, you, you can't go wrong, right? You, if you got allergies, you got allergies. But the pro of it is we've got outdoors. We've got, again, those rivers. We've got those trails, which, again, really drive a lot of people to come out here into the Sacramento area. Another pro, I would say, is going to be the parks. Uh, we are known for being the city of trees. And that is definitely true. Wherever you go in these parks, they're packed with trees, not even talking about the neighborhoods. And these are no little parks. Most of the parks out there are gonna be, be a few acres. There's some smaller ones, but a lot of huge acreage on these parks. They're older parks, they're established. So the tree coverage is great. Um, if you go out there, you're gonna see on a Saturday or Sunday, people are always out there picnicking, bringing the family, playing volleyball. There's tennis courts and a few of these other ones, but definitely parks are gonna be another huge factor for people coming out here and the tree coverage that comes with that. Uh, another con I would really get into is because we're so widespread and um, I would still say that Sacramento in all honesty is still kind of revamping itself. Uh, you're going to need a car to get around, okay? Even if you live uh, in Midtown, which is gonna probably have one of your best walkability scores out there, you're going to need a car. Whether you wanna get to work, whether you want to um, get to a certain food place, there's a few blocks there that are great, and then after that, they really, everything is spread out. 
even if you want to do anything like our sports, which is another pro for us, if you wanna to go to these sporting events, you need that car to get there, right? So if I wanna to go to the Kings game, if I live in certain areas, great. I can walk there, I can scooter there on the uh, rental bikes or scooters that they have. But then if I wanna pop over and I wanna watch um, the, say, baseball team and watch the River Cats play, I've gotta get over to West Sacramento, which means I'm going to have to get in a car, I'm gonna to have to get in an Uber to get over there. Or if I wanna go watch our professional soccer team, right now at least, as they're still building the stadium, I gotta get over to the UC Davis field to go watch those guys. Now, once they get done with building that stadium, it's gonna be a little bit closer for a lot of people. They've got a lot of condos that are going around the stadium, so the walkability is going to get better. Uh, they are building like crazy still in Sacramento, so again, I think in a few more years, you're gonna see that walkability score go up, but right now you definitely need a car for most activities around here. And that's about all I've got for the pros and cons. As you can tell, those pros really just weigh out any cons that are out there. Sacramento is a great place. Does it have its problem areas? Yes, but for the most part, Sacramento is one of those places that we just absolutely love being out here. There's so much to do. There's so much entertainment that you've got to get out here and check it out yourself. So if you're looking to buy a property out here, heck, if you're even looking to sell and maybe move around the Sacramento area, give us a call. Me and Deborah would love to help you guys out. My phone number should be popping up somewhere on the screen here. Um, give us a call. Let us help you out. Hit us up for that 15 minute Zoom meeting and let's really get into what you're looking for and what best areas would suit you. Because Sacramento is a great area, but we've also got the metro areas surrounding. So whether you're a uh, young single and want to mingle, we know where to put you. Or if you've got a family of four, uh, we also know where to help you guys go. So just let us know kind of your criteria. We can point you in the right direction. At that point, we'll get you guys on out here and do some tours of different neighborhoods to hopefully help you make that selection. Hopefully again, you guys got all the information needed out of it. Help me out, hit that like button on this video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.